So that line is exactly half. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but if need be, we got that pretty flimsy piece over there. And we can use this for the skeleton. But that is, and we got scrap wood from there, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we got a three nail method. We're gonna just mark and then with a Sharpie and then saw. Unfortunately, I don't have a jigsaw. So I'm gonna try with a hand saw. That's, you know, that sounds pretty hard, but I've done miracles with hand saws. So the end didn't cut off great, but we got progress. Now I just gotta cut that, trace it onto there, and then, let's see. But, yeah. We still have to make like the frame and stuff. We have a long way to go. And all my nails went away. I don't know where they went, but it's not good. We might have to take a trip to Home Depot. This curve is going to be really hard because you can go so you can only go so long with it being straight and you have to like I don't know if this is wood it feels like the stuff you make bulletin boards out of I just found it in my garage I don't know but it's going to take a while because I don't have a jigsaw I need a jigsaw. All right, so, um, oops. It's raining, um, obviously. I'm gonna try to work on the thing in the garage. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it a kicker. I'm gonna make it like just a kind of drop. I'll put a clip that I'm talking about in, but yeah. I put most everything from yesterday that was outside in the garage. So I'm just gonna get some shoes on and All right, we got the piece of wood. The I think I'm just gonna cut it down the um yeah. I'm gonna measure it and draw the line like this down the middle so then i'll just have two of the same piece and then that will it might be the this might be like the writing surface i don't know we'll, we'll figure it out i'm freezing right now okay so i think that's pretty solid again um that that wasn't a great line but i i went off and i knew it would get more and more so i kind of tried bringing it back. So this, this side of the jump might be a little wonky, but it, should, it shouldn't it should be dramatic enough to uh, do anything wrong. So now, basically, if you guys don't understand what I'm doing yet, I'll show you. I don't know if it'll be that wide, but that's like the basics of the drop, which, yeah. See how it kind of sticks out? I don't know how much of that is just per perspective. I probably sound super nerdy in this episode. Talking about the Pythagorean theorem and stuff. But um, basically now you got to get boards, which I'm going to use that. <laughs> Not very, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Boards, and then you get the sheeting. And hopefully, because what happened last time was... It would flip over because ah oh shoot I should have I should have cut those at an angle so it doesn't flip over as easy but it's okay. Um, dang that sucks. We'll we'll find something else. So that is 15 and a third inch wide. That's probably what we're gonna use as the surface. So that means I mean not right now it doesn't really matter but that needs to be 15 inches and a third wide and. I need to get pieces that are 15 inch in the third. Long? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we got 
marked right there, marked right there. Three. We'll have four, which that should be enough. I want to put another one right here, so hopefully that will stabilize it better. But we'll see. I can cut this whole thing in half if I need, but it'll take a while. I don't know. Okay, so I got three pretty evenly spaced. Three pretty evenly spaced um, boards and one for like the bottom corner. The problem is I don't have nails. I don't think I do. I think they all spilled. And instead of the, like, instead of putting them back in the box, we threw them away. I think I have like two or something, but I gotta eat right now. And then I'll ask my mom if we have nails. small small nails on that oh and then that nailed I used two small and one big and then I got frustrated with the big so I just went to small it was pretty wobbly but hopefully that will stabilize and if I need I hopefully still have room for another big I gotta eat I'll update you guys after all right, so the time lapse kept falling down because I was hammering so hard, but we got all of one side done. Now we just gotta put it on that side. And then we're gonna put the, what's it called? That, what you ride on. I can't remember what it's called, my bad. No way that actually just worked, and it it has a tiny bit of wobble, but nothing less than expected. Now, we'll see. So I think the ramp also gets wider. So that's not very good, but we can probably just nail it like right there, nail it on the slats, and it should be somewhat okay. No one said it was safe. I'll just leave it at that. It looks terrible, but I walked on it. And I mean, I don't see what's gonna make this not rideable. And it's like that because I'm not very good at measuring. Well, I'm... So that's hangover because, um, I wanted it to be, it's the trade-off between a good transition and a little gap right there, and I chose the little gap right there. This right there, so that's, the whole thing's super sketchy. I should have made those boards more narrow, but it's too late now. Let's open the garage and test it out. No one said it was safe. I might just need more speed because looking back like my front wheel went and my back wheel got hung up but I'm glad I'm I am glad I know how to bail because Muhammad ooh. <laughs> shot is hilarious just how crooked everything <laughs> and that's it for this video I'm gonna I'm gonna try this with more speed because I think it's doable and over there, I have a pool cover, and it's probably about the height of that. And I, I like to drop the pool cover, but a lot of the time I don't have enough speed. So this could, this could just be an up ramp for the pool cover. I don't care what I use it for. It's just sad that I can't really jump it, if that makes sense. I think I just need more speed, because I had to start from like right there, and then 
the ramp was right here, so. It's okay. I'll go to the outro.